All right, we're under the Suburban again today. Um, it's time to put the pilot bushing in and put the flywheel and flex plate on. So I'll be showing you how I'm gonna do that. First things first, I'm going to clean the surface of the flywheel uh, just to get all the, uh, any grease or um, any of the uh, stuff they put on it for shipping, uh, corrosion resistant stuff. So um, I'll just be using some brake clean and a, and a towel to wipe that off. Um, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, to put the pilot bushing in, I'm just gonna be using a socket and a hammer, and I'm gonna center it as good as I can and then uh, press it in basically with the socket and the hammer. And I found that a deep well socket works a lot better than a standard socket when you're pressing that pilot bushing in. This is obviously easier to do when the flywheel is not on. Alright, now that our pilot bushing is in, we're going to use a clutch alignment tool to get the clutch lined up on the flywheel. And you can just uh, put the tool inside the clutch once you get it in there. Uh, you want to make sure, let's see if we can get this to, uh, to zoom. On this clutch, it says flywheel side. Um, so we're gonna put that towards the flywheel, got our alignment tool in there, put it into the uh, pilot bushing, and then line everything up. All right, if we can get it to stay on there, that would be nice while we put the pressure plate up. One thing you wanna do when you're installing the clutch before you install it on the uh, onto the engine with the pressure plate. You want to make sure that it fits on the spline of your transmission that you're installing. Okay, so I've cleaned the friction surface of my pressure plate off. Uh, I have my clutch sitting on top of my pressure plate. I'm gonna put everything together that way. Um, there are no alignment dowels on this flywheel. I'll point something out here. Get really close here. This pressure plate does have alignment holes that if I were to use a drill bit as a dowel, I could line up these holes in the pressure plate with the holes in the flywheel. There's one right there. One right there. One right there. This thing weighs like 8,000 pounds. There we go. And I've already got Loctite on my bolts. Tighten these in a crisscross pattern. Got that one. And just get them finger tight at first. Then we'll move on to a wrench. And 
and we'll torque them down. The spec that I found for these is at 40 foot pounds. All right, the last thing we're gonna do for this job is pull the clutch alignment tool out. Hopefully that means our, uh, our transmission input shaft will go in smoothly when we insert the transmission. All right, so you can see I've got the pressure plate and clutch installed behind me. I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break for now. Next time I'm gonna get into installing the clutch pedal components. I've gotta make a spring for my uh, clutch pedal first and um, we're gonna get into the the clutch pedal the master cylinder the slave cylinder fit the bell housing and, and make sure that that uh, all jives up with the starter and everything and uh, we might have to do some grinding on the bell housing it's from advanced adapters so if you want to see that you got to subscribe so click the subscribe button click the little bell next to it so you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you later.